What is up guys? Welcome back to another Crypto Camel video. Hope you guys are doing fabulous today. We're going to be going over Uniswap V3. We're going to talk about merch and then we're going to wrap up with the decentralized autonomous organization and the benefits with the hybrid that Hoj is setting up. If you guys are enjoying these quick updates, remember to smash up the like button and let's just jump right into the video guys. So Hoj is climbing. We're looking at 46,300 holders. Let's take a look at Uniswap. So Uniswap V3 will be providing slightly lower gas fees and a ton of improvements to providing liquidity. It's going to be interesting to see how it rolls out, how it plays out on May 5th when it drops. Let me know what you guys think about Uniswap V3. If you want to learn more about it, you can also read the white paper. I'm going to link it in the video description. And on the subject of gas fees, gas fees are really low right now. One thing to comment on that is that anytime the market is in red, anytime there's dips, a lot of times there's not as much traffic. Think of like a highway. There's just not as much traffic. So do take advantage of that. If you guys want to make any purchases, gas fees are much lower than a couple of weeks ago or two or three weeks ago where we had huge, almost sometimes hitting 10x this price that we see here, 47 guay. Now, this leads me to my next point about merch. So a guy posted in the Telegram yesterday, he bought a hose shirt from some knockoff seller, someone who was selling like a hose shirt that had really bad detail. It looked like some 360p uh, jaggedy, you know, rough. It was really rough. So if you guys want to buy hose merch, either reach out to a member who's trusted in the community or make sure you go to hoj.finance. When you arrive to hoj.finance, you go to more and go to swag and you'll arrive here. And when you click get them on Amazon, you will see the shirts here. Now these are trusted vendors. You wanna be careful because there can be people who are gonna be selling like a really, really low end shirt. And we don't wanna see you guys get a shirt that's like just you know an abomination that just looks like some MS Paint action, some 240p. So if you do wanna get a hoj shirt, do go to hoj.finance, go to more, go to swag and get them from Amazon from the button that you see there. So let's talk about the DAO. Let's talk about the decentralized autonomous organization. So essentially this is leveraging blockchain technology to make decisions in the community, payroll, voting, all that good stuff. So what can you expect? Hoj is working on a hybrid. So that whole thing you hear about a legal entity in Switzerland, typically this is not done. And there are typically limitations with a DAO, but Hoj has done a hybrid approach so that we can get the best of both worlds, transparency, community involvement, but also the legal entity so that we can expand and make Hoj as big as it can be. So let's touch base on that. A decentralized autonomous organization. So decentralized, immutable, transparency, no borders, you know, something that's just very transparent, that's global, that's accessible anywhere in the world. That is the goal, right? Let's talk about the limitations. So typically with the DAO, there would be a lack of laws. It would not be recognized as a legal entity. Uh, they wouldn't be able to sign deals in most countries. And this is where the kind of the Swiss army approach, they call it, comes in of a hybrid because this way Hoj is doing a recognized legal entity we're going to be able to sign deals in most countries. We're going to have laws. We're going to have an implementation that has a fusion. It has a both coming together. So think of Goku and Vegeta coming together to just become a perfect hybrid. And that is the goal because typically there are limitations, but they are going to be circumvented with the approach with choosing Switzerland as a legal entity, allowing merchandising, allowing other stuff, brand deals, exchanges, things of that nature. So the hybrid approach, um, I'm gonna link this video in the video description. I just wanted to take some slides and discuss it with you guys. If you want to check, check out the video, really short, really short and sweet. The decentralized governance, we have a hybrid going on with transparency, legal recognition. This is the Swiss Army DAO, it's the Hoj hybrid. And this way everything comes together for a perfect balance, allowing us to achieve what we want whilst keeping transparency, community involvement, the decentralized governance. So roadmaps looks like something like this. So we register the Swiss association and then we establish the governance and then we expand the functionality. You know, what do we want to fund? Do we want to do charities? Do we want to do crowdfunding? Do we want to do e-commerce? And that's really up to us. And if you want to get more involved in this, head over to Hoj Nation, head over to nation.hoj.finance. 
do check out stuff there. Uh, I'm going to be more active on that side of things. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's pretty quiet with updates. So I did want to take this opportunity to put some spotlight on the cheap gas fees. Uniswap V3 dropping May 5th, as well as the decentralized autonomous organization, the Swiss Army hybrid approach that Hoj is doing to have best of both worlds. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to smash up the like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted of the daily uploads. I will see you guys in the next video. Have an excellent day.